Shalom Aleichem everybody! Very, 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 very glad to be doing a class today for the full healing of my wife, Esther Badbatia. Today we're going to talk about limits, our own limitations. And something very special I discovered today, I'm going to tell you a story. It's a funny one. I, uh, I got food poisoning, okay? So I'm staying up you know, with my food poisoning, like just taking some nausea pills, whatever, taking some, just a bunch of stuff, seeing if it would help. And I can't go to sleep, so I end up going to sleep really late. And I wake up, and the whole time my wife is like, you still going to go to work? Like, I feel so bad, da 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 da. And I feel that I got to go to work, right? It's just, I have to. Right? And I went to work because I really didn't, I didn't, I would be embarrassed if I didn't go to work. And so it was a mandatory Sunday, which in America, we usually don't work on Sundays, so it's like a luxury that everyone's used to. Right? Every, other parts of the world, they work on Sundays. Uh, like in Israel, they work on Sundays. So, I go to work and I tell my manager, you know, Sorry I'm late, I'm late, I'm walking in an hour later. I say, hey, I'm sorry I'm late, I just got food poisoning and I, was, I barely slept. He's like, oh, okay. Well, I slept for an hour and then I woke up and then with my dog and da 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 I slept like two, three hours, but I'm here early. So I realized that I'm just, just excuses, it's just all excuses in my head. And I realized like, I'm making excuses, my manager isn't making excuses. And like he's a little older and he has a different life experience than me. And he's in a different position in the company where, you know, he, you know, he's much more accountability that's required, right? I mean, the same accountability. I'm taking it less seriously. So on my part, I'm taking about, I'm doing excuses. And I realize like, why did I decide that that's okay for me? That this is the level. This is the best I can do. I'm going to walk in an hour late. Okay, like I walked out an hour late too, right? I stayed there for the full eight hours. But when did I decide that that's okay with me? What am I judging myself on? What am I judging myself on? And today I realized that I used to judge, I'm 99% of the time, I judge myself based on what I've done in the past. My performance in the past. And that's how we are with God. We stand in, in, in front of God and we say, we make excuses based on the past. And we also judge ourselves harshly based on the past. We say to ourselves, I'm so horrible. And we say to God, I'm sorry, I'm so horrible. Here's what I did in the past. And it's wrong. You're wrong. It says in the Torah Gdusha, Abdullah Moshek Asuto brings it down, that you have to know where your place is. And so Rav Shalom, his teacher, taught him for a long time, that when you have to know where your place is, he, he said that it means you have to know where your inner critic is, where your character defects are, where your Yetzirah, the evil inclination is. Where that part of you that's slacking, that part of you that's working against you, you have to know where that's, it, it, that is at and judge yourself on that and improve that. And then he came back like a year later and he said, I was wrong to teach you guys that. I'm sorry. It really, what it means is you have to know where you truly are where your truly, your, your, your real, your true soul is, right? So you're you who you are, you're not your inner critic, you're not your ego, you're not the crazy thoughts, the negative thoughts in the mind. You are the infinite soul that's inside of you. So you have to judge yourself according to the infinite soul. And what does that mean, infinite soul? It means it's part of God, literally. It's literally a part of God. Okay, says in the Zohar. And what it means is that you judge yourself according to what you're able to do right now. Not what you based on your past performance. Oh, well, in the past I was like this, so I, for sure I'm not going to be able to. You're setting yourself up for failure right off the bat. Instead, what you're going to do from now on, past after you watch this video, is you're going to wake up in the morning and you're going to say, what am I able to do today? And you're going to say, okay, let's see what I'm able to do. I'm an infinite soul. And I don't have to listen to the criticism in my mind. And based on what I could do today, based on my infinite potential, I'm going to try to go to work early. 
I'm gonna try to put in 100%. And the biggest side effect of that is that you're gonna start stop taking your failures seriously. You, a lot of people fall and they get embarrassed, ashamed, and they, they fall further. They give themselves permission to continue falling, and it's wrong. Because all you have to do is to admit and be accountable. And as soon as I said, you know what, manager, and this works for God too, right? He's the ultimate manager. I said, you know what, manager, you're right. I'm just giving you excuses. And tomorrow, I'm gonna try to say, hey, listen, I don't need to give myself excuses. I don't have to work based on my past performance. I can start new, start fresh right now. All it takes is admitting, standing in front of Hashem, admitting, today, I'm accountable for what I did in the past 24 hours. Forgive me in the past 24 hours. Help me not to do it again. Here's what I did. Help me not to do it again. Give me the strength to continue going. And then today is a new day. It's a fresh new start, like Rabbi Nachman teaches. Brand new start. Today, we are going, we're walking forward, moving forward, and we are doing the best we can do, the next best thing. And with that, I don't have to make excuses. At least I'm not judging myself, and I'm not falling into depression and despair. And I'm not taking my failures too seriously. My dear friends, five minutes a day is what keeps your inner critic away. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a beautiful week. Be successful. I love you all.